Teeme see kord siis nagu... Teeme seda, mida see tüüp meile ütleb, mida me tegema peaksime. Sest nagu ma olen päris kindlad, kui ma viimalt seda mängisin, siis ma ka nagu järgisin neid reegleid, sest ma küll ei mäleta, et see. Okei, lähme siit siis. Lähme siit. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Okay. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Lähme siis üles, lähme... Teeme nii nagu ta tahab, et ma asju teeks. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, what? unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, four, five. Cox, but of Cox, course, and Stanley and couldn't possibly have known this. Who's Cox? I... Kas siin peaks olema kuski mingi numbe ääse? Aaa, siin. Kaks, kaheksa, neli, viis. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Sheer luck. Stepped into the newly opened passageway. Iga taas, mis... Okei, see on seal... Noh, jah, lähme... Siit alla vist siis. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Oh wow. Nagu, oota, ma, ma võtaks hetki korra selle mõtta selle, et see eelmine lõpp, mis me just olime, kas see siis nagu konfirmib seda, et Stanley on hull ja see hääl on ta peas? Või... Stanley walks straight ahead through the large door of okay. red mind control facility. Uuu. Ma ei, ma ei tea, kas ma julgen mingi minna, noh, kuskile oma pead. Okei, okay, lähme lihtsalt, järgime neid nagu asju, mis ta ütleb meile natuke aega. Oleme, oleme hea laps. Mul nuusat või? The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Kas on muu vasti ka võtada? Ei saa. Seine üldse obnoxious välja. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. What? What? Uh... Mis... Kas... Ah, ma ei, ma, ei näe, ma ei näe lugeda, mis seal toimub. See tundub mingi easter egg või mingis saladus olevad seal. Ega taas. Mis number me olime? Ma mingi neli... Ka... Kuski see seal kandis olime? This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley Oops, really been yeah. under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? The story leaks could have given me a curious, a bit of a disappointment. No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept Fired. it. Whoa. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life? Utterly blind to the world. 
But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Huh. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. No, you see, isn't it? Means in doing them. Control. Can you do this? Can you offline? You say, where can you make him? Maha wait, do I miss? Hey, okay, miss me too. Ma ei, kui ma vaata, mida ma tahtsin, et ma teeksin, kui ma läheksin. Mind control idle awaiting input. Okei, ma mõtlesin, et äkki kui ma mingi viis korda vajutan seda, siis midagi õhtu peal käib, no okei. Siin mängus on hästi veel mingi saladus ja mingi asju, mida sa pead nagu... Minema e Okei, meil on siis võimalus, kas ma lükkan selle sisse või ma lükkan selle välja. Ja ma lükkan selle välja, sest... Miks mitte? Okei, okay, võibolla ei olnud kõige paremide. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Ma, ne, ma tõesti kahtlan yes. selles. What? He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building Hey, what the time was? As sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. Holy it was fuck. perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. No, Agil. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Yay! Sen ja lup, vist kui se on üldse lup. Beat the game. No näed, nii kergesti see käiske. Ei ole siin midagi rasked. Okei. Okei, äh... Lähme proovime neid teise asju, meil siia nii olnud päris palju nagu valikuid on. Stanley's office was a distant memory. What did it look like? There was a computer, perhaps, and a painting. Was it a painting or a photo? He could no longer recall. See ei ole see sama tealoog, mis ta enne rääkis. Okei, see mäng ei ole läbi siis veel. Ma mõtsin, et see... Oota... When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Oh, kas ta praegu nagu referentsis seda, et see mingi nagu uuesti, uuesti käib see mäng. Okei, iga taes. Mis ma taas sen? Lähme siia. Ja lähme teeme neid asju, mida ta ütleb meile mitte teha. Ja hui ka, tead. Lähme teeme oma... Me oleme vaba mees, vaata, me ei kuula mingit hääl. Vaba mees, ma teen, mis ta on. Okei. 
Jetzt muss ich beelle. Look, Stanley, hm. I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not Der muss um Gülle. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's hm. someone you've been neglecting, ah, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. For her? Guess on say her. What? Stanley, your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been Ma waiting. My dear Minister Agis. Mixa to Bunny Pibaon. Ah, fucking God. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. Kill us, If you can truly place your faith in another. Then pick up the phone. Kill us, Taragi. Ma, Miss Toymub. What? Jesus. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. Oh, dear. <laughs> Miss. Gotcha. Come on. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. Fuck off. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Um, okay, mail I'll do that. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Oh, What? Good. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him. And every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Ah, did I come with him? I wait to make him mood. Did I come about F? Yeah. Huh? Miss Miss Assistant, huh? Okay, maybe I'll let him do it. Yeah, good. He's there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now. He's going home. Now, he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. Sen midagi nagu ma ei taha, ma saan midagi muud rajutada. Tead ma ma olen ma rebel, ma teen mida tahan. Või siis ma ei, ah, ta ikka ei lase tundub. Ah, his mind. Ah. His mind he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Time with so the boys, he eh? further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. <laughs> it barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. As he wandered through this fantasy world, what? he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. What, what the fuck is... It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Oh my God, some English. Ah. Oh. But there is no answer. <laughs> How could there possibly be? So my office. In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. 
The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets, the more he forgets which life is the real one. See, mäng lihtsalt nussi ajude, aga see ei ole tore. And I'm trying to tell him this, that in this world he can never be anything but an observer, that as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Ah, te rääkki ma teen seda. You see? Can he just not hear me? Let me tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself. How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Ma ei saa, mul reaalselt pole isegi jalgu ju. You know, to question nothing. Ah, okay. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. What? Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. Palu lihtsalt suure ära, kui sa saaksid nii tore olla ja seda teha. Ka siin loading screenil see ütleb, et the end is never the end, the end is never the end, the end is never the end. Eks see nagu, kui sul tuleb nii-öelda mängu lõpp, et siis see tegelikult ei ole lõpp, nagu kõik algab uuesti, sul on uued sõiklased asja, nagu...